What's going on, everybody? I'm Gregory Laporte from GamerFitNation.com, and we're here at the EA booth with Madden 15. I'm here with my man Rex Dixon. He's a creative director, and with creativeness, you know, it's 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 just bringing innovation into a game. So I'm gonna let you know, Rex, tell us what's new and creative about Madden 15. So uh, I think the biggest thing this year is we brought in uh, an Emmy award-winning NFL film cinematographer to be our new director of presentation. And you'll find that you know presentation across the board has been significantly upgraded. We have a halftime show. Um, we have new announcers, like the, um, the guy who does the halftime show is new. Um, and all new post-play animations that are all done in real time instead of cutscenes like it used to be. So presentation has been significantly overhauled. Um, and now on the gameplay side, obviously our focus on defense this year, all new tackling mechanic, all new pass rush mechanic, and all new coverage AI. So a totally unique game this year, totally different from last year's game, and really screams next gen. All right, now in terms of, you know, gameplay and, you know, uh, coverage and defense and everything like that, what brought about the changes and, you know, the, the, the defensive scheme this time around? Well, I think um, we listen to our fans a lot, and, and when people inevitably tell us like, hey, defense isn't as fun as offense and, and defense feels um, underbalanced versus the offense. We take that very seriously. Um, we had plans for two years now to, to really do a full defense year and this year was kind of the perfect year for it. Um, with what happened in the Super Bowl and Seattle doing what they did to Denver, we thought this is a perfect year to go after defense. And we basically reimagined uh, all the mechanics from pass rush to tackling to coverage across the board overhaul on defense this year. Now, you guys aren't just focusing on defense, are you? What about the offense? Is there anything new for offense this year? Absolutely. The biggest thing in offense was quarterback accuracy. So previously in Madden, you had two types of pass accuracies, perfectly accurate and very inaccurate, which go out of bounds. So now we have the concept of slightly inaccurate passes that can miss low, they can miss out in front, they can go a little high, they can go behind. And that creates a situation where you're getting all these new catch animations to play and, and the receivers playing efforts like going for balls that they can't catch and guys diving and laying out for balls that are just out of reach and they might make a play on or they might not. And it really creates a, a separation between like your elite accuracy quarterbacks like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning versus your not so accurate quarterbacks like Geno Smith, Case Keenum, etc. All right, now in terms of the running game, it has, has, is there anything new for the running game in terms of blocking, the offensive lines, things like that? Absolutely, we're not done working on blocking. Uh, we've added a bunch of new animations this year. A lot of focus this year on what happens on the edge. So reach blocks, down blocks, uh, defensive ends trying not to get reached and fighting to keep the outside edge. Um, a new contained pre-play adjustment. Uh, a bunch of stuff, uh, work on lead blockers and pullers again this year to make sure we got it right. We feel really good about the work we've done on blocking over the last two years. And what about the graphics? Because I'm looking at the game and like it looks significantly better in terms of you know the games that you had before with Madden 25, Madden 14, and so and, and before. So how how has the presentation and the graphics have been improved to make this you know a unique kind of simulation of an actual NFL game? Yeah. Well, I think. Last year we were focused on making sure we had a one-to-one -one feature port from our Gen 3 game. And this year we had the whole cycle to really focus on paying off the next-gen visuals, using the horsepower of the new consoles to make sure that the game looks like what you see on Sundays. And I think we're closer than ever to people mistaking the game for an actual NFL broadcast, and that's the goal. Now, in terms of online, what's what's new for the online? Anything new that you can that you can tell us about the online aspect of the game? The main focus for online this year is matchmaking making sure that people don't get matched up against an opponent who's going to blow them out by like 100 points. Um, so we've done a lot of work on understanding people's profile, like looking back and see how they did in Madden 25, looking at their win-loss record, and making sure that you're not getting matched up with someone who's way better than you or way worse than you. So you hear that. For all you people that aren't Madden geniuses, there's help for you. Online is safe again. <laughs> Online is safe again. All right, well, I'm Gregory Laporte here, my man Rick Dixon, creative director for Madden 15. Gamer Fit Nation, we're at E3. Be sure to check out more at GamerFitNation.com. Peace.